All right, I'm getting a little tired of hearing Andrew Ryan uh, talk about that. You know, so let's let's see what this. Uh, it is a crossbow. Are you sure you're ready to use that? It's a crossbow. Looks like the bolt delivers some kind of sleep agent. Probably oh. fencyclidine or sodium so thiopentol. So just put them to sleep. Okay. They had all kinds of books in my tower. How do you think I always knew what ammo to toss you? No. Huh. Ain't the same as being ready. Why don't you ask Comstock how ready I was? Your father's hey. more blood in your veins, but it doesn't have to be on your hands. And what it's up does to you. Lauren the Lion warn us? A stealthy approach is safer and more efficient. Sneak up on foes and perform a melee attack to knock them out. If you're spotted, get out of sight and keep quiet. Oh, come on. I mean, if if you're anyone who's ever played the Metal Gear Solid games, you're like, I'm right at home. Those who cannot create. I am very will experienced in this regard. Those who do. Come on. Where is your empathy? Asks Peter the parasite while he picks your pocket. Do you know this word, empathy? You'll find it in the dictionary under L I E. And asleep she goes. So now that she's out of the way, let's see if I can knock this guy out. Yep. Then you'll want some belly in my privy advising how I defecate. What's next? Martial law? To access all your weapons, hold R1 to bring up the weapon menu. Ah. Criminal dealings. Ha! Fallacy and misdirection. Those afraid to let the market take its natural course. Harassment. That's what this is. Right, let's go over here. Entrepreneurial affairs. You're against a guy making an honest buck. I thought Rapture was open for business. Where is this guy? Bad cat. If that's what they call a fellow who's prosperous, determined, uncompromising. <sighs> Issue fits. He got me. Where is this guy? On the other side of that door. Criminal dealings. Much prices. A hot dog for twenty-five cents. From those afraid to Hamburger twenty-five cents. Oh my gosh. Whereas today you go to the ballpark and they're what ten dollars each. I exaggerate. You know, just trying to make a point. Obviously. That's what this is. Incessant. Unfounded prying into my respectable entrepreneurial affair. Mmm, nice soup. And the beans. Cake. Me, you're against a guy making an honest buck. I thought Rapture was looking for business. Hmm. That's what they call a fellow who's prosperous, determined, uncompromising, then fine. You got it. Aha! So I greased a few palms here and there, time to time. What of it? I've been told this town was friendly to. Ah! At least I found the guy who was rambling. Shut him up. Principal's office. Oh man. Oh boy. A place we did not want to go to or be sent to when we were in school. I remember. It's like, you need to go to the principal's office. That was like, oh no.
proper discipline. Official procedure. For problem children, use of possession is advised. Oh my gosh. This was that doorway, okay. More ammo apparently I found there. Let's take a look. Makers and takers. This week's maker, Sayoris Fairly. This week's taker, Jimmy Ward. Wait, what are these? Hold on, hold on. Magnate under the coffers with Andrew Ryan. Rapture women, time-saving wonders. Couture, because you're not one of them. Huh. Parents, ensure your child becomes a model citizen with the Ryan the Lion Preparatory Academy. Look, Suchong. Oh, boy. That's the name you had me tell Atlas. Huh. I don't follow. Looks like this character, Suchong, has taken over the Silverfin restaurant. That's... That's where the tear was that I used when I first came to Rapture looking for Comstock. Before this place was turned into a prison. But the first time you came to Rapture was in 1960. With Booker. When you drowned Song. Over a year from now. Yeah, that... that that's right, I... When I could see all the doors, it all, it all made sense, but now, now it's, it's just a jumble. Elizabeth, you're, yep. you're bleeding. Now I know what it feels like. Huh. All right, if we're going to find Sushong, the, the Silverfin is the place to start. I know the way. Go to the Silverfin restaurant. Welcome to the second Oh, you can buy lockpicks. Oh, that's nice to know. Yep, definitely want to spend my money on that. No refund, no return. Need to know theater. Uh, what is that? Free man and free market. Are you in Are the you know? In the know. I love these. There has been a lot of idle talk from gat flies and naysayers following the nationalization of Fontaine Futuristics. I believe in free men and free markets, but I also believe in my city. And Frank Fontaine's purpose was nothing less than the destruction of Rapture. It was he who gave comfort to the laggards and layabouts. It was he who coddled the traps and vagabonds. Mm -hmm. Fontaine was poisoning the people of Rapture. But his venom wasn't made of arsenic or strychnine, no. It was concocted from something far deadlier. It was brewed from altruism. Now you know. Huh. If you never played or know nothing about the first game, you may not be getting this, but if you do know the story of the first game, then you're definitely like going, wow. Because you know the like the real story about, you know, with all this. Oh, another one right here. Sex without compromise. What? What is this? Are you in the know? I have a feeling I may know where, where this is going. Human reproduction is vitally important to society. Oh but there is gosh. no reason that the act of copulation cannot be pleasurable as well. Remember these tips. Sex is egotistical. Without <laughs> self-esteem, those participating in coitus are revealed to be fraudulent, hypocritical animals. Ego is indispensable in the bedroom. Negotiate with your mate. Did Intercourse can be I'm sorry, did Sheldon from Big Bang parties. Theory come up with this film? Expectations with your partner beforehand, outlining <laughs> the services you will provide one another. I have a feeling like Sheldon came up with this. Side of the deal. Never forget, oral contracts and handshake deals are for starry-eyed gigolos. Always get it in writing. Your pleasure <laughs> is your business. 
Remember, you will come first. Nobody's going to keep an eye on your pleasure except you. Don't be left high and dry. Armed with this knowledge, go forth now and enjoy sexual congress the rapture way. Oh my gosh. Now, now you, you know. know. Yep. <laughs> yep, I'm convinced Sheldon did that. Ah, so that's how she gets those doors to go. Oh my gosh. Well. Right after I came through, I needed... I needed something to wear huh. that was a little more rapture appropriate. Wait a minute. Does that mean her previous clothes from the first, from the main game are here? Money and locksmith? Well... Pearly. <laughs> he didn't have these books in my tower. <laughs> Pearly gates below decks. Mother may I? Daughter. Coeds, oh my gosh. This is a pretty naughty store. <laughs> Appetite for sin. See, the temptations of rapture through the eyes of a Midwest girl. Oh my gosh. Gender, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh! <laughs> okay then. Yeah, let's just uh, see if there's anything in here worth finding other than this stuff. <laughs> oh, hello. Peeping Tom. Turn every room into a peep show. Oh my gosh. Let's see. There we go. Oh, look at it. Look at there. There it is. There's her old outfit. Nothing in there. There it is. Hey. There you are. Audio diary. All right, let's see. The Blue Dress, Carol Lynn, October 8th, 1958. How many times have I asked Antonio for lockers with actual locks on them? I come back from lunch and the ensemble I just bought is gone. Stolen. But here's what takes the cake. The thief left an outfit in exchange. At first I was going to toss that thing. But then... I fell in love with it. <laughs> it's an old timey number with a corset, no less. It ain't exactly today's fashion, but I'm a girl who can tell good craftsmanship when she sees it. Of course. So she just left her old outfit here in exchange. How oh, nice of Elizabeth. And of course, the other lady, she was like, I kind of fell in love with it. Sometimes old fashion is uh, not so bad. Pretty much what she decided. Anything else in this room? Oh, there's the other. Why would I waste another lock? Well, hello there. Pick up Peeping Tom. Plasmids by Ryan it's in the street. from sight. See through walls and sneak up on your foes. Now that is, sounds really useful. Splicers. I could use this plasmid and see them through the walls, or if worse comes to worse, turn completely invisible and get the drop on them. <clears throat> Aha. Doesn't use much, so at least that's good, so I can have an idea of where they are. Ah, but once I move, then it wears off. Pick. Yeah, folks always stare when I make the scene. You get used to it. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Coming around this way. Man, I'm planning a big comeback. Just need a new agent. You know? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. You know I couldn't move. They're real personal to me. Seriously, for a moment I could not move. I'm still out there. All right. 
go down all the carpet and muffles her, uh... I'm, I'm assuming that Elizabeth is wearing heels? Personally, I've been on some of a hiatus. <laughs> Where are you? There you are. <coughs> Bonk. said you were in Paris. It wasn't really Paris. It was more... It was more the world as I want to see it. I suppose I wasn't really happy there. Oh, another audio diary. We'd all be better off, us to wits, if we could leave well enough alone. Huh. Ah, Peeping Tom Possession Ironsides? That sounds like a new one. An Old Man Winter. Les laissez faire. Antonio Rodriguez, November 6, 1958. Dear madam, I have received your letter regarding our new line of peeping tom plasmids and wish to respond thusly. Tough luck. <laughs> this is rapture, miss. What my customers do with my product is their business. If you are feeling uncomfortable, you are more than welcome to line the walls of your home in lead. If you wish... I could direct you to a reputable supplier. Ha! <laughs> he was like, oh yeah, you don't like it? Yeah, well, tough luck. Ha <laughs> ha! So I can get the hand can, the shotgun, the radar range again, yeah. Ooh, knockout gas with a crossbow, and a noisemaker. Hmm. Interesting that I can get that with the crossbow. Alright, so according to... You guys know I'm using that list for the uh, audio diaries. Uh, according to this, those were the only two in that, uh, in that room, so let's keep going now. I dropped right behind her and and bonked her. That was great. Uh, doesn't look like there are any other alternative rooms I can go into here. Just Cupid's arrow. <laughs> that was the only one. Although I am curious. Welcome to the circus of value. I can just keep buying lockpicks. That's nice to know. Door. Ah, yes, Fontaines. Probing a blue pin will open the lock and knock through the noise. You can really take it out. You have acquired a noise-making device. Make sure it's equipped and fire it at the windows to the right to draw the spikes Come from your path. Hey, that's how we go. Go. Right Are you ah! You're not the Get out here! Your supper's getting cold! There we go. In case I just want to do it where I don't have to fight them or anything. That's good to know. Young lady. Come out here this instant. Much more gentle in pushing the elevator button than Once Booker was. I could see everything. Every possible moment. Now. You're just like everyone else. Why? Why, because I died here? If I'm just like everyone else, I can't help Sally. I can't even get back to where I was. If you don't mind me asking, love, why are you talking to nobody? Huh? you for a loon. I might have had second thoughts on our arrangement. I'll hold up my end, but I better find the girl the way I left her. You're in no position to make demands, but I must confess, I do like a bit of sass in a lass. Oh gosh. Don't even think about it, Atlas. What the? There's a guy just sitting there playing his guitar. 
Hi. He doesn't even care. Huh. Oh, thank you for possession. <laughs> I hear a big daddy. Oh man. It's him. Oh boy. It's the big daddy. The one that killed me. You can't trade blows with him. Comstock put him down and he got right back up. Now I can't hurt him. I could keep my distance, but if I watch myself, he could come in handy. Enemy of my enemy. Wait, does he not even care about the splicers that are there? Apparently not. Look at that. They are right next to him. He does not even care. So then how do I... How do I influence that? That's wrong. What is in here? Hello, old man winter. Oh, hello, miss. And bonk. Sorry, madam. Another audio diary. This Atlas Sky, Samantha Kemp, December 10th, 1958. This fella Atlas has been making the rounds down here, trying to bring some kind of order to this pit. All the splicers think the man walks on water, but something about him smells stink to me. Reminds me a bit of my former employer. Frank Fontaine. <coughs> Always hmm. talking about how he was going to lift Rapture right out of the old man's wallet. No fuss, no muss. See where that got him. <coughs> Again, play the first game. It's great. Absolute wonderful classic. I wonder if this is a good idea. What do you want? Let me in, I'm working with Atlas. I ain't heard nothing. Nobody gets you in without a kind word from the boss. Hmm. Interesting. Of course, that's not really where I'm supposed to go anyway. But it's nice to know that there's like a way I can get in there somehow. And that I got the uh, audio diary in there. Where are you, big daddy? Oh, up right there. It's a good thing it costs extremely little Eve. So you don't have to worry about that. Some money, buddy. Wow, look at this. That's 
what this is. Ah! Did not mean to do that. Well, well, what was that? Boom! Causes enemies to be knocked out once the effect wears off. Ah. 15 years now. I get some work, but I don't want to get back to real. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. Check. I can. Just give me a chance. What the? Hmm. Looks like someone's been decrypting a code. We've confirmed completion of the ace in the hole. Su Chong has it, but unlikely to give it up easily. We'll update when we know more. What's that huh. all about? Yeah, what is that all about? Find all four coded transmissions. Hmm. Does this go? I can enter vents, huh? Wow. Oh, okay, so it's like alternate pathways that you could use. Anyone's ever played a stealth game like Metal Gear Solid knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's like stealth game 101. There's the restaurant. Maintenance, huh? Leave. Huh, a blueprint. What's this? Hmm. Well, it seems like central heating came from this room, so it would stand a reason that the ductwork should go to suit jobs. Huh. Wait a minute. Cabinet. He's gonna want to Su Chong wasn't exactly a master of subterfuge. Oh, uh, what turret? Gonna have to probably use my shotgun. Yep. There we go. Disarm the device from behind with a lockpick. Nah. Why bother? Wasn't exactly wanting to go here at this moment, but locked and nothing to pick. But I come here for a reason, right? Isn't that why you told me to find Sutra? Well, technically, you told yourself. Thanks, I appreciate the reminder. Of what? My tenuous mental state. People ain't designed to see what you've seen. And now that you're just plain old flesh and blood. Be grateful you've got things this well held together. There must be something here I need to find. Something Su Chong was working on. A test device. Whoa! Su Chong was opening tears? Wow. 
Well, this could explain some things. So, either I'm gonna check this out right now, or I may head back into the main area, because I know there's other rooms there to explore and find other stuff. Uh, stay tuned to find out what I'll do next.